Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to add YouTube videos to your Facebook business page. So right now I'm logged into my Facebook business page and as I scroll down you can see I've added a few videos already from YouTube. These are videos that I've created myself and I want to go ahead and show you how you can add your own YouTube videos to your Facebook business page. They don't have to be your videos but in this example I'm going to be adding a video that I've created into my Facebook timeline. So there's a few different ways to do this but I'm going to show you the way that I do it uh, and hopefully you can just follow these basic steps and you can start adding your own YouTube videos to your business page. So a lot of the videos that I add are tutorials just giving you some examples of how to do different things such as using OpenOffice 4 to create charts, using OpenOffice 4 calc spreadsheets and how to edit and crop or join together mp3 files and how to control your Windows 8 Metro tiles. And I've done loads of other tutorials, how to set up a Facebook business page, this is more of a written article but in this example we're going to add a video. So to add this video first of all I need to find the video and I've gone to YouTube and I'm on this video right now this is the URL for the video and this is the one that I want to add to my Facebook business page it's OpenOffice 4 Calc Spreadsheet Beginners Tutorial so it's a very basic tutorial just explaining how to do different you know it's just a basic tutorial showing how to use OpenOffice Calc Spreadsheets so I'm going to pause this video for now and I'm going to copy this URL at the top so I'm going to right click and copy the whole URL I'm going to go over to my Facebook page and in this section here it's asking me to write something and I'm actually going to paste the URL and when I paste it what YouTube will actually do is go and visit this URL it's going to take the title it's going to take the description and it's going to give me this little thumbnail this little thumbnail image of this YouTube video that I've created and I just want to do a few extra things and what I'm going to do here I'm just going to move this URL down, just hit the enter key. I want to put a little description in here, although the description is down here as well. I like to add it in here just so that people can see it quite clearly. So, the easy way to do that is just to go back to the YouTube page, and in here you'll see the description that I've already created. I'm just going to copy this description, I'm going to go back to here and paste it. DCP web designers tutorial and really what I want to do is put this part of the, this, this, test, this text at the beginning let's just put a space here we will actually put a carriage return here and we move this down a little bit so open office 4 calc spreadsheet beginners tutorial DCP web designers tutorial for more tutorials visit dcpweb.co.uk that's my website I've got the original URL here from YouTube and the only other thing I really want to do is put some hashtags in here so I'm going to put a hashtag this, just, this will just help people find this video if they're searching for something quite specific I'm going to type in open office for I'm going to type in calc tutorial also video tutorial so that's all I really need to do is pretty simple and when I click the post button now it's just going to do a little bit of work on this post take a few seconds and over here on my timeline we've got the description or the title for more tutorials visit my website these are the hashtags and here's the original link and if I click on this thumbnail image it's going to pop open the YouTube video and start playing. Now people can view this YouTube video directly on my Facebook timeline, they can like it, they can comment on it, they can ask questions about it if they're not sure about something I've written in the tutorial itself. Okay I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.